Hello, I'm Bob Ratliff, Chairman of Agco Corporation, and with me today is John Chimeda, our President and Chief Executive Officer. We thought we'd take a moment and visit with you about the state of the business as we wrap up 1999 and look forward to the challenging year ahead. John, why don't you start us out with a review of operations around the world? The North American industry profit and sales are down from the prior year as a result of the depressed commodity prices and reduced export demand. We continue to focus on a positive cash flow, which means managing our inventories really on a daily basis. We have adjusted production levels to be somewhat below the forecasted demand in order to reduce our inventories at year end. We will continue to look at and will rationalize some of our factories in North America to further reduce our cost and improve our utilization of the remaining plants. As always, we will focus on quality and do whatever is necessary to improve quality, even with the plant rationalization. We also will increase our emphasis on dealer development in the year 2000. As you know, this will help strengthen our dealer base, uh, particularly with our new, most recently announced dealer standards programs. We hope to enhance the dealer's performance in not only the sales and profits, but training and service to our customers. In Europe, Africa, and the Middle East, sales and profits are relatively stable. The Fent Tractor continues to do very well for us and is a huge success, particularly in Germany. We have recently introduced new products in the 6200 and 8200 range under the Massey Ferguson brand, and they have been well received. Uh, the 8200 will really get into full production in the year 2000. In 1999, we also introduced a new Fent Combine into Germany, and it also was well received. In the year 2000, we'll introduce it into France. As always, we will continue to look at, look at our inventory and receivables condition in that market and make sure that we are meeting the retail demand without building excess inventories. And we will continue to monitor our plant schedules and adjust it to whatever necessary levels we need to do that. In South America, the Brazilian sales remains good. Argentina, however, has, shown, has seen a huge decrease in sales year over year and it's not forecasted to improve much in the year 2000. The Brazilian devaluation has had a negative impact on our product cost, and as a result, we are resourcing most of the components that we pr provided from other factories throughout the world to uh, Brazilian vendors in an effort to reduce our costs and improve our margins. We will continue and complete our rationalization of our tractors and combine platforms in Brazil in the second quarter of year 2000. We moved, closed one tractor plant in Argentina and consolidated that tractor production into Canoas, Brazil, as well as we closed one combine facility in Argentina and have relocated it to one plant in Santa Rosa. Both of these plants will provide products for all of South America. In the second quarter, as I mentioned earlier, we will complete what we call our common worldwide platform in uh, Brazil. This will complete a program that started about four years ago where we set out to commonize our platforms in an effort to reduce our costs as much as possible and to focus more of our en energy on engineering and quality of our product. The Asia Pacific market is showing some signs of improvement which should help the industry in the year 2000 and beyond. With that, I'd like to turn it back to Bob. Thank you, John. I thought I'd discuss the financial performance of the company briefly. You know, the strong effort that you mentioned about cash flow has really helped us quite a bit in 1999. And as the year closes, we're really going to surprise some people with the fine results that have been achieved. Thanks to you, our dealers and our employees for their efforts in moving some of this inventory, uh, we've been able to reduce our debt at the same level. So that consequently, we have a very strong and stable balance sheet as we go into the uh, end of 1999. That also means we have a lot of debt availability, that, or credit, if you will, that allows us to consider acquisitions or investments that will help us in the years ahead. One of our goals has been to remain profitable, and I think you'll see that we've been able to do that in spite of a very difficult economy that you all are well aware of. 
the stock performance shouldn't go unnoticed either because in the last 52 weeks, we've enjoyed the rise from a low of $6 to well over $14 just recently. Uh, that's the kind of performance not too many stocks uh, show nowadays. But the outlook is also quite good for a continued growth, not only in the stock market, but the continued growth of the company in sales and earnings. But the biggest factor that I think all of us have been uh, focused on lately has been our competitive posture. What's everybody else doing? Well, I'm very proud to tell you that we're now the number two company in North America. Uh, that's uh, cheating a little bit when you consider now that the Case New Holland venture is a foreign ownership. But in reality, we are number three in the world markets of agricultural equipment. We're the largest tractor supplier in the world and have been for over 35 years. And we expect to continue that and grow on it as the years in the future unfold. I think we can look for some chaos at uh, the Case New Holland camp over the next couple years as they try to figure out how to implement their strategies and divest their companies and create a continuance of their business. The divestitures are going to be quite interesting and I think you can be well assured that Agco is going to take a good look at all of those divestitures that are related to agriculture. We consider them an opportunity but until we totally uh, study their value, we would not know whether they would fit our strategy or not. But we're going to be in there, you can be assured. I would like to point out that the HFI or Hay and Forage Industry operation in Heston, Kansas is certainly very important to us and we continue to hold the 50% ownership of this business and we'll be uh, very interested in how the balance of that business uh, gets spread out. It's important to our future to maintain the strong brand identity of Heston, as well as to properly utilize those facilities. As you know, we recently have closed the Coldwater and Lockney facilities. These unfortunate closures are necessary if we're to keep our product costs uh, at the lowest possible level and also to ensure that we maintain the quality uh, that we've established for our products. Agco must continue to rationalize production throughout the world to reduce product cost, and we'll be looking for every opportunity to do that in the future. But most of all, I want you to know that we're going to continue seeking those acquisition opportunities that have been so important in our growth in the last 10 years. So with the business uh, heating up and perhaps the opportunities improving, there should be some excitement over the next year. What about the next year, John? What's the outlook for the year 2000? Well, we don't expect too much change in the market demand in 2000. And according to the USDA, commodity prices aren't really forecasted to change much over what they are today. But we do expect competition to be tough. Case in New Holland will try to hold on to their dealers. Uh, we obviously will try to sign some of those dealers. John Deere will try to hold on to their lead over the Case New Holland or after the Case New Holland merger. Um, smaller companies will be looking for alliances, not only in North America, but throughout the rest of the world. And, and as Bob mentioned earlier, we think that may be an opportunity for a few acquisitions. Discounts will continue on excess inventory and particularly on overage inventory throughout the year 2000. AICO will again focus on cash flow, profit improvement, and debt reduction. We also will focus on the quality of our dealers and help them through our new dealer standards program. Agco Finance will play a more important role in the year 2000 as you start to see new programs coming from that new group. Sales organization will be refocused to help improve dealer performance in the area of retail sales and training. In closing, we'd like to thank you for your efforts in 1999 and for a strong closing. We wish you a very happy and prosperous new year. Thank you.